Common Sense. An essay written by an Englishman, Thomas Paine, who had developed a reputation for himself as a bit of a radical. Uh, who, Paine had uh, worked in the English custom system and been fired for protesting low wages, had made his way to, to Philadelphia, had befriended several patriots, and Paine wrote the essay Common Sense. Its effect on the push for independence is incalculable in some manner. Um, he helped give the colonists the intellectual nudge to independence. He was at the right place at the right time, and he said the right things. He basically stirred a lot of these ideas we've already been talking about, summarized them in a very good essay, and convinced uh, a number of the more independence-minded uh, people in Congress, as well as a lot of people in the colonies, of the advantage of the necessity, even, for declaring independence. Paine's work essentially synthesized a series of ideas held by the more radical colonists. For example, in his essay, he advocated egalitarianism, meaning the leveling of social privilege. Uh, he advocated optimism. He uh, Basically, he, his argument was that humans were perfectible, that human perfectibility, human improvement, progress continued. He argued uh, for capitalism, a laissez-faire uh, sort of system and not a mercantilist system that basically emasculated colonial uh, economic interests to those of the mother country. He advocated republicanism. He also advocated nationalism and independence. Now, in reality, common sense advocated some very radical ideas that were anything but common sense uh, at that time. Uh, independence was not a common opinion. It destroyed the constitutional legitimacy of England. Uh, it ridiculed the English monarchy. Uh, in fact, Paine would blame the English king for abuses in America. He did not blame Parliament. Um, he thought that America could be victorious against the greatest military power in the world. He saw America as a haven for the oppressed. And he was using the body of enlightenment philosophy, very popular amongst the radical and educated classes in America. So what Paine was saying wasn't really common sense. What Paine was advocating was based on some of the most advanced intellectual currents of his time. So this is a very elite uh, 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 targeted essay. Uh, it did have the desired effect. It crystallized uh, many of the ideas that we've already discussed that uh, are going through the minds of these radical colonists and generating and contributing to that ra more radical environment in Philadelphia uh, during the Second Continental Congress. And it's, it's Paine's contribution that's that last nudge to, to independence.